bring technology to Thailand and establish uh, farm fish here. Do you think it's been successful then? It's been running for a, what, a couple of years now? Well, the, it is that its first crop is start last year and then uh, we're successful for the first crop, I can say, because we get uh, a lot of productions, more than 80 tons for the three cages. It's just a big production. Yeah. Where is it mainly located? In Phuket and Pang Nga? Uh, it's a border. It's a border uh, between Phuket and Pang Nga. Um, Actually, the cash size is on, uh, in the Panga side, but uh, you can see that in that river, it's like a, a close to. Is that a good location for that type uh, of fish and farming? Yes, yes, it's a very good location because we, before we establish the farm there, we do this research and checking all uh, environmental there and everything, the water quality, uh, the depth, and everything that uh, have to be facilitated to, to the farm. And when we uh, decided to locate it, uh, the depth of the water is like uh, 30 meters. It's uh, quite deep there. So when we talk in terms of uh, environmental, it's very good because the, uh, we have a lot of uh, water flow, even flow in and flow out. So it is uh, keep everything clean for that. Do you think it will work in other locations, especially in this Andaman coast? Yes, we, we consider that. Before we uh, expand it to the farmers, we have to, to search for the location. We, just, uh, we, we talk about the zoning, to do which, which area is uh, suitable for set up the cage. We not just let everyone can do whatever you want, you know, because uh, one is an environmental con uh, concern, the other thing is uh, we have to go under regulations. Mm -hmm. Well, we're here at the Iberson with um, sampling some of their dishes with the cobia. You've just had some. What do you think of the of eating it and and, and the recipes they have here? Well, this is the right recipe for a cobia. Give you want to cook Thai food uh -huh, because uh, uh, give you have a chance to test cobia. Cobia is like a chicken test, but we not call it a chicken of the sea because we call tuna is a chicken of the sea. But for this one, we call it pig of the sea. It's a fast-growing fish, and they have uh, a lot of meat. Especially, they have a lot of uh, essential oil that's very important for your health. It even looks a bit like pork or chicken if mm -hmm. you hold up a, okay. a piece. Yeah. It's very white mm -hmm. meat, mm -hmm. uh, very thick. Mm -hmm. um, does it taste like meat as well? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, chicken yeah. meat or... Yeah, it tastes like a chicken meat. Yes, of course. But do you think it has probably better benefits or health benefits? Oh, yeah, of course, yes. When you talk about uh, chicken uh, or pig, you cannot compare with fish because fish have uh, a lot of things that you can use and have the benefit for your health, especially uh, that Ari mentioned is about the essential oil. Mm. And the farming, does that bring down the cost, say, compared to open sea fishing? Well, uh, right now, I think uh, it can compete with uh, uh, the open sea fishing because uh, uh, the oil demand, they have a lot of price and they decrease the, uh, the stock of the fish. Farm, uh, farm fish is a future for, uh, substitute, sorry, for a substitute of uh, uh, the fishing in the sea. And obviously with Norwegian experts, mm -hmm. um, they obviously like cobia too. Oh, yeah. And are you exporting to Norway? Well, not or yet. Or well, not yet to, to Norway, but for the first crop, we, are, we did export to German. Mm. Yeah, they're already in the German market. So are you a fan then of cobia now? Oh, yeah, of <laughs> course. It's very tasty. Yes, if you want to try, this is a good fish to try.